Hey, welcome back. Today is December 10th, Thursday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about Ethereum, price action, ETH, USD. I'll also be telling you about my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short-term price prediction on this market and see what has changed according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before we begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're now giving away four free stocks instead of three upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit. And it will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I am purely sharing my own speculations opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below, but I will get to them a lot faster that way. Now let's see what exactly is going on in the markets. As I have been mentioning, Bitcoin dominance have the potential to continue trending down that falling broadening wedge, most apparent on the weekly time frame, and Bitcoin price action still kind of holding up within that rising wedge pattern. But currently, uh, Bitcoin price action has not yet been able to close back on top of that daily 21 simple moving average. And now it is be uh, actually below that key support that had been holding it up since it had reached as low as 17.6K just yesterday. Okay, now it is below that support again. So something to be looking out for, if that support does not hold, it could go down to as low as about 17.7K as my estimates right now. If you guys want to take a look into Bitcoin price action and what I said in more detail, you guys can actually check out my post today because that could have an effect on altcoin price action. Now see what exactly is going on in Ethereum today. Ethereum today, not much has changed, almost just as slow as Bitcoin price action. However, since yesterday, the bullish case scenario I mentioned was for Ethereum to actually get back on top of the daily 21 simple moving average. It had gone a slightly on top of the daily 21 simple moving average before now it's actually breaking back below it again okay now we do still have that key support here unlike bitcoin price action which had been holding the price up since its last low right here at about 530 dollars which is still the 12 hour 50 simple moving average it is still well above that moving average so i am not as concerned here for ethereum as I would be for Bitcoin price action, but Bitcoin price action does have an effect on a lot of the other coins in the market. So I am still very paying a lot more attention to Bitcoin as well as whatever altcoin I am trading. So currently Ethereum is looking a lot better um, and I am looking for it to actually get back on top of the daily 21 again. Okay, so that is Basically, the bullish case scenario today, if Ethereum is able to get back on top of the daily 21 simple moving average, this would tell me that this swing low right here would be ending. And it is a lot more likely that the Ethereum price action is going to stay within this ascending triangle pattern without me having to adjust the bottom trend line. So that is basically the bullish case scenario. Now let's check out the bearish case scenario, which I think is still very much not out of the question. Okay. So the key support that I'm looking at here is the 12 hour 50 simple moving average, which is currently this white line right here, currently about $555. If that breaks, the next level of support I am looking at is the four hour 200 simple moving average. The orange line right here, Currently about five hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, if the big, uh, if the Ethereum price action gets all the way down here, I could still expect now that the ascending triangle pattern will still hold. Okay, because it has came up quite a bit since the last time I have talked about this moving average. Okay, so the longer it takes. 
for Ethereum price action to collapse and for that will actually give time for this moving average to come up and actually meet the bottom trend line of this ascending triangle pattern. If that is the case, I won't have to adjust the bottom trend line, which still provides more likelihood that this ascending triangle pattern, this bullish ascending triangle pattern will still hold. Okay, so that is the bulls, the bullish and bearish case scenario for today. Let me reiterate bullish case scenario for us to stay on top of this 50 simple moving average, break back on top of this daily 21 simple moving average. Okay, that would tell me it is a lot more likely that this price action will stay within this ascending triangle pattern. Ascending triangle pattern, 63% chance of it breaking upwards. Measure target, still about $770. Bearish case scenario, price action breaks back below this 12 hour 50 simple moving average. The next level of support I am looking at, four hour 200 simple moving average, in which case I think the ascending triangle will still hold, but that will just take us another swing downwards before coming back up. Okay, so this, these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today. I hope you guys find it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I would love to hear them. I hope you guys match your risk carefully. If you guys would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. I'll see you next time.